better way to start the week than with legs. Leg work workouts are usually very similar. Um, always follow the same protocol. Start with a mobilization, a bit of session preparation kind of work, and usually start the session with a bit of power. Same with most of my routines. Usually get explosive. You know, you prioritize the tough, um, most demanding exercises first. So whether it's upper body or lower body, we usually start with some kind of explosive lifting. And then followed on with some strength this week, keeping it reasonably heavy, low reps, and just working through a warm-up. Stacking plates as I go along, reasonably big jumps because I'm still pretty light. So this was the, I didn't film the last set, but I added an extra five kilos each side and that was going to be the last set and I think I did, again, four to six reps. So this is my usual setup for the uh, rear, rear foot elevated squat. I just got a foam roller, stick it on a barbell. I find it gives me the same kind of uh, rolling as a, as a proper stand. Good alternative if you don't have them. And I do mine to try and stop the extra load sticking on the back leg. I try and get the back foot off as soon as I can. And then onto the last exercise, which was a stiff leg, single leg deadlift. I prefer it with two dumbbells. Just find it much easier to balance. Sometimes I'll switch it and do a single. But it's strange you can do, you know, two 18s and it'll feel much lighter than one 32. So day two of what was a really full-on training week, I didn't plan to train as much as I did, but then ended up being busy. It's the combat day, I like to hit things, a bit of mobilization, gonna hit a few rounds under under the belt, and then I finish with savage mode, which is my kind of little uh, practical application of ferocity. I'll explain that at the end.
So this is savage mode. So basically, it's 15 seconds maximum effort. It's not almost, you know, not always the most prettiest thing, but I'm literally trying to hit as many times different kind of angles, simulating a uh, the short burst of kind of energy you would need, and maybe in a street fight situation or even some kind of dangerous situation. I'll mix it between up and down. 15 seconds on, 20 second rest. I have a special timer set for this. And I do it for about five rounds, sometimes more. Today, Mountain Extreme, good old bouldering. Something that falls power last week. This grasp and everything cracked and popped. I've never experienced that before. It feels alright. It's very odd. Yeah, so basically, I, I didn't really realise it at the time, but I'd strained at the uh, tendon in my, uh, my ring finger. As I reached, I sort of grabbed, and it was right at the end of the grip, and I didn't have my whole hand around the. Uh, the the hold so I put maximum effort in because it was full stretch and wanted to make the lift or the grab but uh, I basically just felt a big like an explosion like I said in my hand and I managed to carry on the rest of the session but I kind of knew something was wrong but because I could carry on I just thought you know really literally I've just paid to get in I'm not going to throw the money away so I carried on um, later on I realized how you know, how messed up it was but it was what's not too bad just a grade one straight But the, uh, the whole point is, is this puts together a series of skills. I can't remember which number it is. Essential skill number 11, maybe. Traversing.
close. body strength so uh, this was the, the predicament today was how was my hand gonna uh, cope with this because it was literally the next day it's quite tough um, and you'll see on the press I try and use uh, some fat grips because as soon as I pick the bar up for the floor press basically just you know, if you don't really want to sprain your ankle you know, if you sprain your ankle you get a bruise in that side of your leg uh, similar kind of thing with the hand, it wasn't vis visibly bruised, but it felt it, so as soon as the bar touched the palm of the hand, it was just a bit pain. So nice to fatten out the grip with some fat grips, which kind of helped, but didn't really help with the actual press itself. Electronic press is like an axle bar, a bit, a bit strange, but uh, it did the job. This movement was pretty good with the hand, weirdly, although I had to get help to pass me the weights because I couldn't pick them up before I got here. And then this exercise was to replace dips because I couldn't do the dips because it was too painful for the hand. So I just could have been a step to press, but it functioned really with power, and step, and the core work. So this is the last working day of the week, workout day of the week, but workout number five. Had a day off and then I came back to just do some basic back training. The previous workout was meant to be push and pull, but I obviously couldn't do the pull because my hand. So then I came in, just did an extra workout, basic bodybuilding style training, supersetted with some mobility work. This is really boring kind of stuff. Bodybuilding for me is a very easy kind of work because it's, you know, paint by numbers, pull, push, doesn't require much thought. Finishing with a bit of mirror muscles, although I found that my arms have been weak link lately, so I've added some extra arm work in there. But that's it. That was the end of a solid workout week. Let's see what next week brings. I already know what I'm doing, but uh, maybe there'll be a few surprises and hopefully one less injury.